I'm a living witness of that. If you are worried about something, start worshiping. If you have fears, turn them into faith. A mustard seed of faith, supernatural faith. God gives us a measure of faith. Whatever measure he's given you, just believe and you will receive. And you know what will happen? The presence of God will come in and take away your fears. The presence of God will come in and bring you peace. The presence of God will come in and fill you with his hope and his amazing love as we draw near to God, as we draw near to his throne of grace, mercy, and love in Jesus' name. So are you ready to draw near the drone are you ready to draw near to the throne of God are you ready to ascribe to the Lord the glory do his name are you ready are you ready are you ready to worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness he alone deserves all the God, we thank you for your faithfulness. You are a great God, an awesome and amazing God. Please receive our worship and our sacrifice of praise as a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable and well pleasing to you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. There is a place, a place that saved. Here in your presence, Lord, there is a place where fears fade away. Hallelujah. Here in your presence, Lord. So we draw Here in your presence, Lord. 
from the man of God. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hello, India. Hello, Pastor Kumar in India and everyone here. We thank you for being with us tonight as we go before the Lord. Father, I thank you for this time. I ask you to be with us, Lord, as we bring the word to the masses tonight, Lord God. Let hearts and ears be turned to you, Lord, for what you have in this sermon series for us. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. amen. All right, uh, we are continuing with our sermon series. It's called Training and Rearranging in the Christian Life. Training and Rearranging in the Christian Life. Amen. And we've been examining what it means to go through life as a Christian. What it means when you give your life to Christ as a true Christ follower. Amen. Amen. And when you think about it, to adopt the Christian life means to adopt and emulate the life of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I don't think I need to keep saying it, but I, I, I probably need, I probably will say it again. Those of you who know the Lord, you know that there is no one else worth following in this world. There is no one else whom we can follow in truth. Amen. Amen. So if you're thinking that there's another deity or another God or a man or a woman or somebody else that you can follow to get you to salvation and truth, there is none but Jesus Christ. Amen. But let's go to the word and look further to see what it says. I'm going to ask Pastor Annalise and Pastor Kumar both to please read and interpret for us what the word says in Ephesians. Ephesians 5, 1 and 2, and also... Ephesians 5, 8 to 11, please. Amen. Ephesians 5, 1 and 2 says this. Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself to us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling aroma. And then do you want me to go to mm -hmm. Ephesians 5, 8 to 11? Mm -hmm. Ephesians 5, 8 to 11 says, For you were once darkness, but now, now you are light in the Lord, Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. And verse uh, 10 says, finding out, finding out what is acceptable to the Lord and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. Satyamanu, Vatilo Karmashu, the Kalika, 
ప్రభు కేది ప్రీతికరమైనదో దాన్ని పరీక్షించుచు వెలుగు సంబంధుల వలె నడుచుకుని నిష్ఫలమైన అంధకార క్రియలో పాలివారై ఉండగా వాటిని ఖండించు Thank you Pastor Kumar. Thank you so much. All right, so here we see, let's go to the top. We see uh um, Paul, Apostle Paul, and he's telling us that we're to be what? Imitators of God. Mm-hmm. Imitators, he says, be imitators. Amen. Amen. And what he's talking about then is we're going to be imitators of God. It means that we are to strive to mimic God in our actions. Amen. We want to be in the image of God that's how he made us in the image of God but we want to imitate God in our mm. actions amen 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 ikkada chadavadiki lekana bhagallo apostika paulu cheptunna maatalo emi kadiga manu kristu ni poori nadichi konadi anchekichunnadu manamu kristu yokka ragathe devu yokka swarupamantu roopamulo manu sujipabadiyuntamu kevalu roopamulo maatrame kaadu gaani And listen, friends, what that means is that we're going to uh, 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 be moved toward obedience to God. That's what it means. When we imitate God, we can't imitate God unless we're being obedient to be like God, to strive to move toward God. You see what I mean? Amen. 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 మనము ఆయనను వెంబడించాలి ఆయన యొక్క 